All right, so we're now back to the next parts. We left off with asking, what are the incremental costs? We're going to leave this cost right here for right now. And there's no incremental cost. We now have a couple megawatt hours of energy heating delivered and how much we use for electrical. So let's go down to our financial incentives. And we'll come back to the emission analysis in just a second, but let's just look at this. Well, let's just say we have a rate of inflation of 3%. All right, the projected life of this solar thermal system, truth of the matter is 30 to 40 years. Let's go on a bad side, let's go to 30. And let's say the debt ratio is 0%. That means you were able to pay all $36,000 out of pocket at front and there's no interest on it. Just hear me out, and I know that some people will hammer me when I deliver this as we hit all this stuff, but what we're looking at is some other fraction. Is there other incremental initial costs here? No, let's just leave it at 36,000. And we'll move this down to a more grants and incentives. Let's take the state savings. All right, so the federal savings is 30%. And so $36,000 is, is the total cost, and 30% of that is 10000 So let's just make that the federal rebate is $10,800. Then the state of Illinois has 25%. So 36,000 times 25% is $9,000. So we have a total incremental cost of $19,800. You know, we're getting 55% of a return. Now this is again a little high. Savings are OEM, operation and maintenance costs, uh, typically about 30 bucks a year. And that's a little bit high. And then other, let's just leave that off for right now. What we're going to save is $221 a year. The projected year for payback is 145 Now, you may say to yourself, well, geez, that $200 per square foot is high. And it is. Let's realistically look at that. When you're getting to a big system like that, it's not uncommon to really drop that $200 down to about $100 per square foot. And the reason for that is this is going to go on the roof of this apartment complex, which in our case, and we'll get to the pictures to show you, can be very easily mounted on this roof structure. So $100 per square foot times 180 square foot is $18,000. And I think this is a more apt value. We just want to look at it as a high figure. So if at $18,000, we have a total of 55% of a rebate, so if we take 18000 and multiply it by the 55%, that's going to give us 9900 So we get a total incentives here of 9900 Now it's starting to look a little better. Now we're going to have a projected year of return of about 73 years. And you're still like, well, that's not going to be good. Well, you know, I think there's a few things that may be a little low. I'm not exactly sure. That's not too bad. And then uh, the amount of heating that's coming in. You know, I think there's a couple other things that are actually low here, and I suspect that if we pace it instead of 52 cents a therm and we make it more like 67, which was the cost in 2009, which was 67 cents a therm in the wintertime, all of a sudden, now our payback is going way in our favor at 27 years. I'm looking at this from a purely practical standpoint, and you can make these numbers any which way you want, and I believe there are varying degree of good values to be had. So I think $18,000 installed is a fairly reasonable, maybe a a touch on the low side but I still think for seven installs I think that could be done and the reason I think that could be done is, is do these things and it becomes more popular and the layout of this particular facility is very easy to access and install I think we're in the ballpark of that value I think I would go with three percent inflation I'm willing to live with that and then I think truth of the matter is we're in a lull I think we're gonna be at 75 cents a therm in the not too distant future about 10 years out so if we do a fuel cost there just to look at this still 28 years of payback so it's not perfect but it is definitely a value worth looking into now I'm sure you'll see some other videos where people will project these out in greater sense and there's truth to that I think it's it's really uh, not too bad of a system some people will say I'll do 40 years and that's still going to be, can make cases either way. I, realistically, are we there? It's darn close. Not knowing which way natural gas is going to lead, I think it's going to be in our advantage to consume less. And I think these numbers may realistically be as high as 75 cents a therm, as opposed to what they've been paying, as opposed to paying these really low values. So anyways, that gives us a little idea there. I'm not going to get into the emission analysis just yet, because frankly, as we do the site assessment, I know that's a huge and important criteria. That's not what my focus 
focus is on. It's a matter of getting the site located properly and then how much it costs to install that and what the homeowner is willing to tolerate. As a business owner, I can amortize this in a far greater sense. Let's just go back and take a look real quick if we were to do a house. 